You remember um, Quixotic Elixir? Mm -hmm. Kind of a jazzy flavor. I remember the lyrical. Yeah, I, 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 I spent about that. nine years working on the lyrics, and then we, <laughs> then we threw it out in, in a recording. It was like, ah, this, this is not working, let's move on. <laughs> I was like, okay, I just went through, you know, 27 box of pencils to get this song out. Unless you're an obsessed Chili Peppers fan like myself, you probably haven't heard this before. In this video, I'm going to tell you why Quixotic Elixir is the best song you've never heard. Released as a B-side off the Californication album, Quixotic Elixir includes overarching themes relating to depression, love, being under the influence, but in general just being quixotic. Because of its release being somewhat under the radar, it makes sense why it hasn't received the exposure it may deserve. Anthony even expressed his disappointment of the song not making the album in his autobiography. The whole song is rich in melody and meaning, however, when listening to the words, it can get pretty difficult to wrap your head around them without proper context. But after the right interpretation, you can truly see the significance in the lyricism. Kick back a little just to watch and see Getting sick by the minute with the bunch of me Whatever your pleasure, I'm your punk On the brink of sink, baby, but not yet so I will listen to low when you told me that I was all you had to hold I wish it was so when you told me that you were solid gold The song starts off rather playfully, and then makes the quick turn into making a statement about how the pleasures in life can ultimately hurt us. Most people in life ignore this, and would rather enjoy their own elixirs while they head towards a downward spiral. Sinking, but not yet sunk. Never left a very mellow impression You smell or you go to hell expression Quick side of galixum might But I probably will not fix your bite Tell me now, tell me how Did I get your lipstick on my kite? The second verse goes into the topic of relationships How you can meet someone and fall in and out of love How you can see nothing but the good But then nothing but the bad the line Quixotic Elixir might, but it probably will not fix your bite, shows the understanding that the good things in life don't always solve the root of any problem. The chorus of the song uses the weather as a metaphor to imply that even in a storm, he is able to acknowledge its beauty. He just asks that all the bad things keep going in a way that he can keep coping with. It's perfect and he wants to be high forever, just to keep it coming in its perfect form. The following verses now show more of the realization that being quixotic can lead to downfall and how to get past it. When Anthony talks about a beautiful dress and a beautiful mess, it tells the listener that sadness can hide in a way that isn't always obvious to us. He then reflects on his personal struggles with drug use and how a brilliant mind that has been overwhelmed by addiction is a bad thing, no matter how appealing the lure may be. Finally, he talks about how someone glows when they go from winter to spring. He's acknowledging the beauty of someone who is in a depressed state that is working towards recovery and achieving a more healthy state of mind. The last chorus is about finally facing recovery. 
The whole Californication album is about maturity and adulthood, and that's exactly what is being shown in this verse. Maturity showed Anthony that he can't rely on short-term pleasures, and that the sad moments in life are supposed to make us stronger. He refuses to punt forth and long. He wants to just go for it and suffer the potential consequences, instead of remaining safe and punting on the idea of recovery. The reason I love this song so much is because of its great portrayal of the beauty of balance in life. The whole song kind of feels like falling in love, not being able to control the urge of having that one special person always near you, and how that can more often than not be a bad thing. I really recommend that you listen to the whole song yourself, whether it be the rhythm, the message, or even Frusciante's amazing backing vocals and solo, you'll be sure to get something out of it.